Hi there. Welcome to the first in an occasional series of videos where we cook an authentic recipe from the European Middle Ages. I've been wanting to try an authentic medieval recipe for a long time and now is as good a time as any to give it a try and see what happens. However, these recipes are being updated to work in a simple modern-day kitchen because I certainly can't afford a cooking setup that matches an authentic medieval kitchen with a cooking fire and a fire pit and vintage cooking vessels from the days of the Holy Roman Empire. Besides, I prefer simple recipes of the kind that anyone can cook, and even though it's a lot of fun to watch A Taste of History and other shows about cooking from the medieval era, I'd like to make dishes that you can cook in your own kitchen. These ancient cookbooks of Europe can easily be found online, but they do require some translation to the modern era as they're often hard to understand and they use ingredients that aren't widely available anymore. So we'll be using modern substitutions for ingredients like verjuice or claret wine or almond milk. Reading these recipes has certainly been a learning experience because even in the old days it was very common for cooks to dress up their dishes for better presentation, such as using food coloring to make meat look more pleasant. Fortunately, there are some cookbooks out there that have already updated some of these recipes for the modern era. So, for our first dish, we'll be preparing a roast leg of a lamb, using a recipe that was originally meant for roasting a baby goat. We'll be using a vintage Griswold Dutch oven for this, though compared to the recipe itself, even a Griswold cast iron pot seems like modern technology in comparison. The original recipe in Latin called for a kid or a baby goat, but this recipe uses a leg of lamb because lamb is much easier to get. We also get to use more modern cooking tools, such as a cast iron Dutch oven. We preheat the cast iron pot to 450 degrees in the oven and bloom a pinch of saffron by soaking it in a little water. We then crush three garlic cloves in oil and use this to coat the lamb before it goes into the iron pot. Once the hot pot comes out of the oven, in goes the lamb. and into the oven it goes. We turn down the oven because we don't want to overcook the meat. Unlike the old days when mutton was an everyday food, lamb can be expensive today, so we have to take our time and control the cooking temperature. In the Middle Ages, cooks had a very limited range of ingredients, which is why they used egg yolks in so many dishes. This entire dish only has seven ingredients, including the lamb itself. Leg of lamb is best served rare, and we can achieve that by roasting it to a temperature of 150 degrees Fahrenheit basting it with the egg wash at every 10 degrees. Today, however, we can control the cooking temperature by using a probe thermometer. The advantage to roasting by temperature rather than by time is that we know when to baste the lamb again and baste it yet again and baste it yet again. The hard part is done and we can remove the lamb from the roasting pot. This recipe may be several hundred years old but this lamb still looks impressive in any era. And when the lamb has reached the desired temperature we cover it with foil and let it rest while we deglaze the pan with claret wine, or at least some red wine.
We stir the pan juice to reduce and thicken it so it can then be poured onto the lamb. And when we add the deglazed pan juices to the lamb, we sprinkle it with parsley. And our roast leg of lamb is now ready to serve. I certainly like the way this turned out, and you could say, quite literally, this is a dish fit for a king. It was a lot of fun to cook this, and I do hope you want to give something like this a try. I'm not going to convert this YouTube channel completely into updated medieval dishes, but every so often we'll be taking a trip back to the days of royal feasts, peasant dishes, and everything in between. I do hope you've enjoyed this, and thank you for watching.